I know you're upset that we had to cancel all the wedding plans, baby. But I promise you, we will plan an even better wedding in its place. Simon has promised that everything is in order for when we land. He will meet us at Claridge's and we'll sign a few things and get the papers and that will be that. No, no. Everything is already taken care of. The suite will be all set up for us to our liking. Thomas knows exactly how I like everything. My family has been staying with them for nearly a hundred years now. I can't remember a time when my stay wasn't pretty damn near perfect. I've already instructed them to have dinner waiting when we arrive, so we can just relax and not have to go out anywhere. It's been a long day and I know you're tired. No arguments. You need to rest. For you and the baby. Doctor's orders. It's not just me saying it. At the last appointment, Dr. Joseph was slightly concerned with how much you were trying to take on. I promised him I'd keep a close eye on you during this move. Honestly, if it weren't for the legal issues it would cause, I would have much rather waited until after the baby was born before we took on the title and the move. But that wasn't an option, unfortunately. Yes, I checked into every option, but the only way out of becoming a duke is either through committing a felony and spending the rest of my days behind bars, or through death. Neither of these felt like acceptable options, so we should just accept our fate. Together. I know it's not what we planned for, but I think we can make a good life out of it. We can be happy, as long as we do this together. Oh, come here, my love. I promise everything is going to be all right. More than all right. You'll see. Good evening, Thomas. Been a while. Yes, we had a wonderful flight as usual. I would like to introduce you to my beautiful fiance. My love, this is Thomas, the general manager of the hotel, truly the best at his job I have ever met. And sadly, no matter what I say or how much I beg, he refuses to come to work for me in one of my hotels in the States. Just wait, though. One day I will wear him down. <laughs> Should probably get you upstairs so you can eat and rest, but later we can explore the rest of the hotel if you'd like. I know you'd love old buildings almost as much as I do. Oh, Thomas, my lawyer should be here soon. If you could make sure he gets sent up right away when he arrives. We have lots of estate matters to go over and documents to sign. All that boring stuff that comes with the job. Thank you. And we will have to catch up while we are here. Though hopefully it won't be too long before we can move to the manor. But that depends on how things go with the lawyer. Why, right, baby, let's get you upstairs where you can relax. Welcome to your temporary home, my lady. I know you don't have a title yet, but you will as soon as I get my ring on your finger. And besides, you are my lady, with or without a title. That is not cheesy. Okay, maybe a little cheesy, but you like my cheesiness. What? You... Wound me. Come back here, you 
Oh, me for that one. <laughs> All right. Now go get cleaned up and then we can eat and relax before Simon gets here with the papers. So how do you like the suite? I know it's a little different than places we've stayed before, but with all we have going on, I felt it was worth it to stay somewhere with all the luxuries we can enjoy before we deal with whatever state the manor is in. I know about a decade ago when I visited, just before my mother died, the place already had a lot of rot and decay that they were fighting. We have a lot of work ahead of us, and since you didn't have much say in moving back to England with me, I wanted your first experiences to be good ones. How much does it cost to stay here? I'd have to ask Thomas to be sure, but... It's... I think it's around £6,500. No, oh, that's per night, baby, not the entire stay. Don't look so surprised, my love. Well, I know it's more than you're used to, but here it's normal, especially for a duke. It's not even just about us and our priorities and choices anymore. Now, it's also about the title. What's appropriate for the title is a big consideration. I know there's a lot to learn, but don't worry. I'll be here to help and teach you. We are in this together. That must be Simon. Good evening, Simon. Thank you for coming out here so late. We're definitely ready to get this over with. This is my fiance, the future Duchess of Glencoe. Let's go have a seat in the sitting room. There's a good table in there we can sit at to spread out the papers. Oh yes, thank you. We had a wonderful trip over. Long, but it was nice. Thank you for helping suggest a new plane. It was much more comfortable for such a long-distance flight than our old one. Especially with our little family already growing, we will definitely need the space. My love, um, you come sit here too. I know there are several things you'll need to sign as well, and you need to hear everything, so we're all on the same page with any decisions. I figured the house would need a lot of work. Sounds like it's a miracle we haven't lost parts of it already. The very first thing, I think, is the roof needs to be fully gone over. Any weak spots need to be replaced immediately. It's like my grandfather used to say, you can't have a house if you don't have a roof. Do you know if all the family's historical documents are still in the house? That's definitely something I'll have to discuss with Aunt Matilda. My grandmother has been working on cataloguing the different pieces she found over the years. Letters, journals, daily schedule logs, that sort of thing. But if we are to try and get any funding for the historical legacy, we will need those to help prove our case. I do know the house Hinkley Manor was built in 1547. I only know that because of the scavenger hunt. I was obsessed with that as a kid. Yeah, baby, a scavenger hunt. You see, at the very front of the manor, there are two lion statues. The lion is also on the family crest and the coat of arms. At some point, one of the duchesses decided to hide 1,547 lions throughout the entire manor house and the gardens. I believe, but we'll have to check with Matilda on that eventually became a family prophecy that whoever discovered all 1,547 lions would be the one to save the family from disaster and ruin one day. That during a time of trial that they would all be found and that somehow would prove the family was safe. If they were not found, the family would not survive whatever this future trial would be. Now, I don't hold much belief in such superstitions, but it makes for fun, traditions to pass on and keeps kids and visitors entertained on cold, rainy days. Something we have way too many of, in my opinion. All right, 
if we have everything signed that we needed for tonight, I think we should be getting to bed. It's been a very long day. Simon, thank you for everything. We'll meet you at the manor tomorrow afternoon for a walk around. That went well, I think. <sighs> yeah, love. Simon is a nice guy. He's worked with our family for probably 30 years now. Wouldn't be comfortable to trust this big of a situation to anyone else. I can't wait for you to see the manor tomorrow. I think you'll love her as much as I do. <sighs> I still can't believe that I'm actually inheriting it. That was never supposed to happen, at least not that I ever expected. Because it turned out that Uncle Les's first wife was not as faithful as he thought. Both her sons, apparently, were the gardener's kids. <laughs> I guess now we know why her rose bushes never really prospered, even though she spent most of her time out there. <laughs> he was suspicious and insisted on a DNA test before they could claim the title. They were never happy together, though. Only married because the families wanted the connection, basically an arranged marriage. But they weren't forced into it. Titles and money can bring out the worst in people. My relatives were some of the craziest. I'm just lucky to have you here with me. Together, we'll make this crazy story into something amazing. And our little one will one day continue passing down all the funny, wild family history. She's already asleep. Good night, my sugar baby. I love you. <laughs>